I was very out of my element. I mean, there were frogs and teddy bears up on the walls. You know, you had people from Child Life coming in and asking you if, if you wanted a coloring book, and I just looked at them and I'm like, guys, I'm 18 years old. I don't want a coloring book. The nurses didn't know how to switch between 22-year-old male with a six-year-old kid. So they're tell, like treating me like I'm in daycare. I don't like to be treated like a child. I know what is happening to me. I know what's going on. So, you know, talk to me like an adult. You know, don't ask my dad if you can do this to me. Ask me. I wasn't a toddler. I shared rooms with a lot of toddlers and I'm 19, and you know, lots of the doctors there, they're just like, we don't know how adult organs work. We know how kid organs work. You're not a kid. What am I doing in here with all these kids? Well, you don't want to be there in the first place, but uh, if you had to be there, you don't want to be with all these annoying little kids crying all the time. At the time that I was there, there weren't any teenagers. I was like the old lady. I didn't have the really young kids. I was treated in an adult hospital, so I just had the adults. So you walk in and everyone's like, wow, you're so young. They kind of give you like, oh, the last person I saw was with gray hair, and the next person I'm gonna see is with gray hair. And so they're not really familiar with how to approach you know, young cancer patients in general. Just even going to any doctor's appointment, it's either like everyone's way older than you, and nobody's my age going to all these, like heart appointments, lung appointments, scans. I want to walk around the hallway, but the hallway looks like I'm in a mental institute or something. It was just plain white paint, and <laughs> everybody was locked in their rooms.